Hello, everyone. Let's take a look at the code 1824, minimum sign with jumps. So uh, it's a third problem in the weekly context. And uh, there are a lot of solutions. For example, some people use uh, DFS, some people um, use gradient solutions, and some people use dynamic programming. So for this problem, um, dynamic programming is uh, a pretty popular solution. So I will use it. So um, probably uh, description is pretty long. So if you haven't read this problem, you can take some time to read. Basically, um, like we have a frog, it's placed in the uh, second lane and fourth row, the fourth point. And it's the goal is to jump to the last point, the last column. And uh, in the first row and la last, uh, in the first column and the la last column, uh, there are no obstacles. But in other columns, there may be at most one obstacles. And uh, we cannot jump through the uh, this obstacles. We can only do the sideway uh, jumps. Like we can jump to the bottom, then move here, then jump up. So the problem asks us to uh, return the minimum number of side jumps the frog needs to reach any lane at point n, starting from uh, lane two at point zero. Okay, so it's um, pretty obvious that we need like a two-dimensional DP, like DPN three. DPN I means the minimum side jump needed to reach column n lane i, like point n lane i, and the last jump uh, is not side jump since it's meaningless if, if the last jump is side jump since uh, we take one actual side jumps, right? So the answer is minimum of dpn minus one zero, dpn minus one one, dpn minus one two. Okay, so um, your previous series block, the count value is unreachable since the last jump cannot be the side um, jump. And if count series block, the count value is also unreachable. Otherwise, there are three potential moves. Once we can just move the previous cell to current cell, there's no side jump. Uh, for other two moves, we have one side jump. And some people might ask, what if there's one obstacle in this cell or this cell? It's fine, since um, we have three potential moves, we, we, we just pick the minimum of the three. If there's obstacle here, the value will be pretty large. And we pick the minimum, so it, it's fine. So the code uh, is pretty clean here. We just have a DP. First, we initialize the um, starting point. Like DP01 is zero, DP00 and DP02 is one. Then we just for loop the remaining obstacles and for loop all the three lanes. If the previous cell and current cell is an obstacle, we just set it a large value here. Otherwise, we will pick the minimum of the three possible moves. Like the first one is just from previous year to current cell, there's no side jump. For the other two, we just pick the minimum and plus one side jump. Finally, we just return the minimum of um, dpn minus one zero, n minus one one, and n minus two. That's it. See you next time.